This is an iPhone 5S. This is also an iPhone 5S, and now you might be wondering, why is this dude showing us two of the same phones? And that's an interesting question because these are not the same phones. I mean, they are the same phones, but this one is running iOS 7. This one is running iOS 12. And these two are, despite being the same phone, it's just astonishing to me. So um, let me get into the history of the iPhone 5S. The 5S came out in uh, September 2013. And September 2013, it was released with iOS 7. Today, October 2018, iPhone 5S running iOS 12. Now, this is probably one of the longest supported smartphones in history because this is getting a, this is basically getting six years of software updates from the manufacturer from the date of release, which is unheard of in the smartphone world. Just to give you a comparison, the Galaxy S4 that launched a couple of months before this in 2013, you wanna know when it got its last major upgrade? In the end of 2014, so that's it. So one and a half year of updates was all the S4 got, and that was it. Whereas this is still getting updates, and it has continuously actually improved in my opinion. So now you might be wondering what, wait, how did it improve? So let me tell you about iOS. It's fairly similar to iOS 11. However, the one key difference is that this is optimized a lot better and it is actually meant to improve performance on older phones. So Apple is, what they're essentially claiming is that the iOS 12 software update will make these phones faster. So that's a very, very surprising and honestly an amazing claim because just the fact that you're supporting the older phones and you're making them faster even the sixth year should show people that while yes you do want people to buy the new phones you're not just shunting users away and forcing them to buy new phones because look at it it's amazing the the software is just incredible so what i'm going to do in this video is one i'm going to compare ios 11 to ios 12 so what i did was on this iphone i did a fresh clean install of ios 11 uh, I ran a speed test and I ran a boot test and the speed test was just the stock apps, nothing else. And I also ran benchmarks. And I did the same thing at, with a clean and fresh install of iOS 12, benchmarks, boot, uh, boot time test, and a speed test of the stock apps. And the and I'll show you guys what the results are of that. And as after that, I will show you guys exactly what the difference is between iOS 7 and iOS 12 in terms of performance on the same exact phone. So let's talk about benchmark. So starting off, let's look at Antutu, where iOS 11.4.1 did have the slightly better numbers. It has 69,406, whereas iOS 12 scored 68,041. However, the big gap is when we look at the Geekbench score, especially the single core. So the single core score jumped almost over 400 points. So it's 755 single core on iOS 11.4.1 with iOS 12 coming in at 1280. And the multi-core scores are fairly similar. It is slightly lower on iOS 12. Now the interesting part as well is looking at the graphics metal score. So there is definitely a graphics improvement as well. So it comes from 588 to 596 on the iPhone 5S. So overall, in terms of benchmarks, it's fairly clear that, um, you know, the 5S on uh, iOS 12 is a lot snappier. And just saying, you know, benchmarks don't mean everything, but in this case, I've personally used the phone before and after, and it definitely feels a lot faster on iOS 12. All right, so let's start off the speed test. And just to show you guys, I will double click and make sure there's no empty apps. And I'm going to start the test. These are all basic stock apps from iOS 11.4.1 and 12.0. And I'm going to use the same apps again and see how much time it takes to complete on both row of, on the entire rows for the phone. So for the camera app, I did take a snapshot in front camera mode. And then all the other apps, I'm just going to wait for them to load all the way through. I'm going to time them. And at the end, let's see what the results are like.
All right, guys, so this is the boot time test where I will close down all the apps on the phone, make sure everything's clear, no open apps or anything, shut off the phone, and see how much time it takes to boot up on 11.4.1 and 12.0. Both have the exact same uh, apps, exact same storage, everything, so really no difference, but just we will see how good iOS is. So let me start off the test, and once both of them are loaded all the way through, we will see what the final timing is like. So that's a surprising result. So iOS 12 is definitely significantly better um, the, just right out of the box. I didn't have to do anything. This just I clean wiped iOS 11, 11.4.1 and clean wiped iOS 12.0 and just the such big differences in boot time and just load times you can see it's astonishing and I think that that just speaks a lot for uh, the iPhone 5S in itself because I love the phone and I love the design factor. And the fact that it is still very, very usable in 2018 is a huge deal to me. So let's move on and let's look at how it differs from iOS 7 that came out five years ago. Well, four years ago, technically. And let's see what it looks like compared to iOS 12 on the iPhone 5S that I have here. All right, guys. So let's see what the difference is between iOS 7 and iOS 12. So just right off, let's look at that lock screen. So this is the classic slide to unlock, whereas this is press home to unlock. Now for the speed test, I'm gonna give you guys kind of a rundown of what I did. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit right like that. So now you guys can see that uh, I've arranged these apps to be as identical as possible. Few apps like News and Passbook, they've been changed to News and Wallet, Newsstand on the old phone, uh, Passbook here. So uh, they are the same app, it's just kind of refreshed. So what I'm gonna do is run this and show you guys just how much of a difference is. So one app by one, all right? So you guys can just see uh, how it is. So before I do that, I'm gonna close down all of apps. So closed on this one, closed on this one as well. And let's start off. So one, two, three. All right, so this was almost equal on these. All right, one, two, three, equivalent. So that's a great sign starting right off. One, two, so what I'm gonna do is uh, open the camera, flip it and take a selfie. One, two, three. All right, one, two, three and selfie. So the, uh, the iOS 12 kind of loaded up the camera a little bit quicker, all right? One, two, three, same time. One, two, three. All right, so the web-based, it looks like this one got a little bit quicker. All right, clock, one, two, three. Almost same time, astonishing. All right, one, two, three. Okay, iOS 7 was a little bit quicker. One, two, three. iOS 7, a little bit quicker. One, two, three. Okay, again, iOS 7, just a half a second quicker. Okay, same time on both of them. Two, three. Okay, stocks taking a little bit more time, but the stocks app on this is a lot, a lot more intense, I'd say. Definitely, uh, can be justified as to why it took a little bit more time. All right, newsstand. Not gonna be a fair comparison again because newsstand on this, the news on this is a lot more of a heavier app than it was on this. So one, two, three. So that's it, newsstand, that's all it was in the older app. You could add more if you wanted, but uh, that's the app on here. So let's try the app store. So web-based apps here, one, two, three. So this is already loaded and ready to go. What about? iOS 12, all right, there we go. All right, calculator, one, two, three. Okay, so both about the same time. Animation made the iOS 12 look a little bit slower. One, two, three, okay. Compass, okay, so they open about the same time. 
this was a little bit quicker and then it calibrated. All right, settings, one, two, three. Just a hair faster on the older one, but it was a little bit unfair because this did open up directly to a update page, which should, should not have done. All right, no problem. Phone app, one, two, three. All right. Mail, one, two, three. All right. One, two, three. All right. So this is a little, taking me to Google instead of taking me to the home page, but okay, that's fine. All right. Music, one, two, three. This is already up and running. All right. So, as you guys saw, while iOS 7 is definitely a little bit more snappier, the fact that a five year newer version of iOS with a ton of more features than this one is able to keep up neck and neck with this. It's just astonishing to me. In fact, I'd say that if you kind of mitigated the uh, animation changes and the animation differences, we'd probably see a very similar, if not a faster time for iOS 12 because I ran this test before off camera and iOS 12 was almost consistently better uh, in terms of performance than it was on camera. But, you know, of course when I'm on camera, I can't prove my point. But nonetheless, definitely a huge thumbs up to Apple because imagine this. If you took a, you know, just imagine this, take the S4, the Galaxy S4, and let's put Android 9 on that. How do you think performance would be? Do you think it would even run? Because I don't think it would. But on, uh, on with Apple, it's just completely a different story. And that's something that is astonishing to me. So let's wrap this video up. So as you guys saw, I mean, that was a pretty surprising result to me. So iOS 7 is essentially, I'd say, a little bit slower than iOS 12 is uh, in certain places. I mean, it's just, it's, it's weird to me to see that a phone that is, um, that came out with its original software is slower than the phone, the same phone four years later with the newest software. So definitely something that you won't get from any other phone company. I can, right now there is no other manufacturer that supports their phones for this long. And on top of that, makes them better. So I'm just saying, uh, I love these phones. I love the 5S, definitely one of my favorite iPhones ever. And I'm just really, really, yeah, I can't, I don't have much more to say. So if you are a 5S or an uh, iPhone 5 or an iPhone SE user, let me know what you guys think. Did uh, the iPhone update really help you out? I mean, the iPhone 5 didn't get it, but uh, I mean, just iPhone 5S and above users, let me know what you guys thought about iOS 12 and everybody else out there, what do you think? you Android fanboys especially, you guys are so self-righteous with blaming Apple and calling them out for doing so much stuff, but you guys always seem to forget that the one thing Apple always nails is software. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I am very interested to see what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one.